everybody this is aisha singh here welcome to my channel next possibilities with aisha today i'm going to share you all a secret of survival yes you heard me right a greatest secret of survival so my dear fellow educators before i go ahead and talk about this please do not forget to like share and comment on my videos also please to subscribe to my channel let me talk about the greatest secret now i want to tell you all a small story of my student the name is changed for various reasons there was one of my student called lata lata was working in one of a very good educational institution a reputed uh, educational institution and she was a fabulous teacher she was a very enthusiastic and selfless person who always wanted to get new things in her classrooms new stories new books various activities you know there was no bound for her involvement with children and the school so lata has given 15 years of her service into this institution and she has been doing a very good job suddenly it so happened that the institution was taken over by some other uh, management and uh, lata had was forced to leave the job and she didn't have any other option so lata started working with some other institution because she was a very worthy resource so no institution was ready to let her go when she had posted her resume she immediately got selected and she was hired so when lata went to her new institution there was a different environment the environment was very different not only from the management side but also from with her colleagues there were different kind of and resources used the kind of technology what they were trying to do integrate into their classrooms was different and there were a lot of things which lata was not comfortable with yeah lata was still with that old school thoughts and lata never liked the technology in her classroom so she was actually against it so she was not feeling comfortable and she never liked her job then her work um completely dedication dropped to a lot of percentage and then she realized like okay this is not my cup of tea i have to quit this job and let me see for something else then it so happened um lata quit the job and she took a break for some time and then lata went to another organization as a teacher now in that organization everything was good but the management was completely different again it was very different there was not that kind of a positive environment where they would encourage the activities what lata used to get into her classroom everything they expected to follow all the book culture which lata was not impressed with and this demotivated lata again so lata had to drop from that school too and when and when lata called me up and said like you know um aisha i am not sure what do i need to do i am i feel i'm stranded i had given my selfless service all these years for all the students and one school the company the management other management took over i was forced to quit the other place i was not able to adjust i had to quit in another place the management is not that cooperative and encouraging what should i do now so the secret the secret tip of survival what i gave to lata is adaptability as my fellow educators we have to have the skill of adaptability adaptability is not a skill which is a choice it is a skill which is a mandatory who thought today the schools who always wanted children to keep away themselves from phone and from the digital devices are now getting classes online that's an adaptability always the school where like, parents don't give time the children are strict to the phone so please uh, reduce the screen time we most of the schools must have told this to the parents in every pta in every video in every message in every possible way they have communicated this to the parents now the school themselves have got digital the school themselves have got into the phone now school themselves want children to get the screen time because that's the only way they can communicate the school has also used the survival secret that's adaptability now what is adaptability in lata's case 
Now the first adaptability of Lata was when the Lata had resigned her first job and when she joined her second job, she could have used her adaptability skills and learned the technology, integrated technology in her classroom and learn how it could have been made better with her activities and with her kind of an involvement what she wanted in her classroom. She could have used in her syllabus or in her curriculum in her day-to-day -day classroom activities. But instead, Lata started feeling uncomfortable. Now, what was the reason why Lata started feeling uncomfortable? Everybody, we all are in a comfort zone, okay? So in this comfort zone, we all are set with our blankets and we are tight seated there. We are not ready to get out of the comfort zone. The day when we start feeling that we have to move away from the comfort zone and do some activities, we start getting into a frustration zone. And that's when we are stressed, we are angry, we don't want to work, we are diluted with a lot of thoughts because we don't, we are not liking what we are doing. We are forced to do certain things. But sometimes adaptability is good. Or I would say most of the times, especially for the educators, Management always gets new curriculum. Management raises its standards, changes its standards, changes the technology, changes the integration in the classroom. There are a lot of things what management wants to do because at the end of the day, management wants admission as well as the recognition, right? So now what teachers can do? Yes, we all teachers are here only to make sure that all the children whom we are gonna make them learn a lot of things have to understand and use it in their future now imagine if we are able to adapt to new things for this our new generation that's a millennials then nothing like it it's just like a cherry on the cake so the biggest secret here is adaptability yes you heard me right it's adaptability now if we are working in one company so we are comfortable with that company. Now, once we have to quit for various reasons or we choose to quit, we move to other company. Now, when we move to other company, we take little time. We hesitate to mingle with the people. We want an icebreaker. So we just wait. We are an adults. We just wait. We expect an icebreaker. We want to make sure again we are getting back to that routine. And then we try to comfort ourselves. We usually, educators, always say parents to relax when the initial years of the schooling, we always say parents relax, you know, your child is going to get adjusted. That's the same way implies to be adults too. So as an educator, if you learn A of adaptability, then you can work in any organization, any with any kind of an curriculum, with any kind of an technology, with any kind of an integration. But you need to have the skill of adaptability. Please do remember it's not the choice. It is a must. Now this lockdown, this quarantine has given us a time for us to learn a lot of things. How we can use technology, how we can go digital in our classrooms, what type of things can we do, what type of things can we teach our children, how can we do a self-development. So Educators, use this quarantine time and make sure you are trying to uh, develop your skills, get go digital, try to understand how this digitalization in the classroom works. Uh, you know, we all call this as a flipped classrooms. Okay, so understand how this kind of flipped classroom works. Use this as a blended learning. Use a lot of uh, kind of a technology and make sure you're balancing it out so that the children are not getting addicted. Neither children are feeling being uh, feeling left out. So first, before you go ahead and try to inculcate into your classroom, start using this time and start learning new things. If there's anything where you want to um, understand or reach out personally, there is a below website and you have my contact details on that. You can reach out to me or you can email it to me. I will surely respond to you as soon as possible. So my dear friend, please don't forget the best secret and the greatest secret of survival is adaptability. So till then, you take care, happy social distancing and spend good quarantine time on the self-development. This is Aisha Singh. Signing off.